Welcome into Miami Dolphins today. I am your host, RC Maxfield, and some breaking news for the Finns down on South Beach. They've signed a pretty familiar face if you're a U of M fan. Duke Johnson will be heading back to South Beach, this time as a Miami Dolphins. Here, what uh, Duke has done in his career so far, pretty impressive in the sense that he hasn't been a starter for a majority of his career, but when he's been in there, he's made a solid impact as that versatile third down running back, and he can run between the tackles as well, as we all know from his time at the University of Miami, being the leading rusher all time for the Hurricanes. But this was strictly made because of Malcolm Brown going on the IR, right? You think about what Duke Johnson brings, and he brings a lot of versatility for the Miami Dolphins. And overall, I was kind of surprised that he wasn't signed already, right? With all the running back injuries out there, looking at you, Baltimore Ravens, was kind of surprised they didn't bring him in. Instead, of they brought in washed-up Le'Veon Bell, which that was an interesting choice, to say the least. Miami makes a good move here, though, and this is what the depth chart looks like currently as it stands on Tuesday, October 26th. You have Miles Gaskin as the RB1. Savannah Ahmed moves to RB2. And now you have the leading rusher for the Miami Hurricanes in their program history as the running back three for the Miami Dolphins. As I mentioned, this move was made to replace Malcolm Brown, who was placed on the IR. And now I do want to preface this as well. Duke Johnson was signed to the practice squad. I fully expect him to be elevated to the active roster. I do not see Miami going to Buffalo with only two active running backs. That just seems like a disaster waiting to happen, especially since, no disrespect to Miles Gaskin and Ahmed, but they're kind of smaller gadget type running backs, but they work in this offense, right? I fully expect Duke Johnson to be active for this coming up week against the Buffalo Bills, but hey, let me know. Do you like the Dolphins signing Duke Johnson? I'm sure I'm going to be seeing a lot of whys down there, especially with his ties to Miami already, being a hurricane, being one of the best ever, and having a solid NFL career so far. But type Y for yes or type N for no down in the comments, and let me know if you are excited about Duke Johnson coming down to South Beach. If you haven't already, and I know a lot of you have, some of you have actually DM'd me about this, Head on over to chatsports.com slash bet and use the promo code DOLPHINS125 to get the best deposit bonus on the internet today. Listen, we're in the thick of it, right? This is week eight for Miami. I don't know what you're doing, but you should be gambling on the NFL. Maybe not Miami because we know that hasn't gone too well this year, but maybe for the other team. I don't know. I just know that the best place to gamble on the internet is BetUS because who is giving you free money like they are? Nobody. Nobody is doing a 125% deposit bonus. Head on over to chatsports.com slash bet. Use the promo code DOLPHINS125 and you too can get the best deposit bonus on the internet today. Oh man, it wouldn't be a Dolphins Today video if I didn't bring up Deshaun Watson, right? I had to do it. Here it is. We all know at this point Deshaun Watson well, the Houston Texans and the Miami Dolphins are in serious negotiations between the two clubs. And we know by now that there's 22 civil cases open against Deshaun Watson. But this was reported earlier today that could Watson be getting cold feet about a potential trade to Miami due to the front office uncertainty? Josina Anderson had this to say. She said, leaked sources to me this morning there are more teams Deshaun Watson can go to besides Miami. It's just not Miami or bust. My understanding is Watson is willing for the most part to go to the teams that are interested in him. She had this to say as well. Additionally, my understanding is that Watson has not been interested in settlements up through this point and that he requests for to sign non-disclosure agreements in order to settle continuing to be problematic. And now that last tweet right there, there's a lot to unpack. There's just a lot to unpack when it comes down to this Deshaun Watson just really circumstance and situation going on currently. I mean, when you think about what's going on in terms of just the civil lawsuits and everything, and we'll talk about that in just a second, but Miami shouldn't be the only team in the mix, right? Like, that's just stupid if they are. Carolina, Sam Darnold, ain't it. Washington, ain't it. There's other teams, maybe even San Francisco's in the mix, right? If you are a team that needs a quarterback, why the hell are you not calling the Houston Texans right now and seeing what's available, right? 
you have to at least make that phone call, see what they want. Maybe Miami's in the driver's seat for this trade to go through, but you have to make that phone call. If you are every quarterback needy organization in the NFL, you would be stupid not to, but you do need to do your homework first. And I'll say this about the legal issues. Just don't even get me started on it. There's so many things there, that non-disclosure agreement that he's asking for from everybody within the lawsuits going on. That's a choice. I mean, that, that's a choice by him, to say the least. I mean, it is what it is. I'm no lawyer. Maybe that's just typical, but it seems kind of weird from an outsider's perspective on Deshaun Watson. But, I mean, he's a talented guy. We all know that. And seeing these numbers from last season, it just reiterates and drives that point home even more. Sure, the Texans were 4-12, and 12, and I see some people down in the comments on these videos talking about Deshaun Watson. Is he really that great of a quarterback if he's only on a 4-12 and 12 team? Did you watch the Houston Texans last year? Other than J.J. Watt, there might not have been somebody on that team that was worth watching. And I have producer Jeremy Chuggs here, who is a Texans fan. He's over here shaking his head and agreeing with me on this stuff. Like, I mean, it is hard to watch the Houston Texans right now. No disrespect. It was hard last year. And when you have a guy like J.J. Watt coming out and basically saying, like, no, I don't have any vendetta against that team because I don't really know anybody on that team. DeAndre Hopkins said the same thing. I mean, there's no denying Deshaun Watson's talent at this point. I don't care if he's on an 0-16 team. The players around you still impact the game. You can only do so much as a franchise guy. He put up MVP-type numbers on a 4-12 and team, right? He is an elite quarterback. But I ask you this. Should the Dolphins trade for Deshaun Watson? I know I've asked this a couple of times, but we'll switch it up this time. Type G for get or type P for pass. I mean, it's one of those things for me Miami's done their homework, right? They have to have done their homework by this point to have their name seriously in negotiations for this franchise-type quarterback. There's no other way around it. It's just, do you morally want to make this trade with the cases going on? I mean, there's some morality to it, but there's also just some, hey, this is football. He can help us get to the promised land. Your owner's a little older. I mean, I get it from both sides, but I'm curious to hear what y'all have to say. Type G for get or type P for pass. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that big red button and subscribe to the best Miami Dolphins channel on YouTube. The best part about it, it's absolutely free. Nobody else is giving you free daily Miami Dolphins video. Listen, this Duke Johnson news just broke about an hour ago. We're right here giving you a video not even two hours into this. Nobody else is doing that. Hit that big red button and subscribe today to the best Miami Dolphins channel on YouTube. Back into Deshaun Watson. We're not done. This from Peter King and FMI. Football morning in America. Lots of buzz about Deshaun Watson to the Dolphins. And the lukewarm Tua is our quarterback from Brian Flores. Wasn't enough to put a lid on the speculation. Then again, Flores neither justifies nor debunks reports of or rumors involving his players, so his lukewarm response to renewed Watson trade reports was par for the course. Peter King went on to say this as well, but a collection of bad gains by QB needy teams could crowd the field, making it very good for the Texans to get more than one team bidding for Watson. I do hear that Miami owner Stephen Ross is not pushing his football team to deal for Watson right now, which is smart. It makes zero sense for a team to deal future or deal huge assets, excuse me, for a player when the team doesn't know when the player will be able to play. Now that last line by Peter King is really critical there, right? Peter King is one of the most well-respected journalists in all of football. Simple and plain, he is. And the interesting part about it is what he said on that last line, not knowing when to play. I would be kind of surprised if Deshaun Watson gets dealt and isn't able to play right away. Now, they could put him on the commissioner exempt list, but I think from everything that I've heard from people much closer to the situation, I don't think they do that just because I, I just don't think they would. I mean, from everything on the table right now, I think Deshaun Watson would be able to play right away. Now, I don't know if I personally agree with it, and I wouldn't be surprised if they do put him on the commissioner exempt list, but I wouldn't be surprised either if he could play right away for if that's the Dolphins, Panthers, or whatever team he's dealt to. Ian Rappaport had this to say about the Dolphins owner, Stephen Ross, when he laughed when he saw reporters waiting for him at the league meetings today saying, I know what this is about, and I'm not dealing with it, and that's it. Listen, Mr. Ross, I'm not buying it. I'm just not buying it. You, you are fully engaged in wanting Deshaun Watson to be your franchise quarterback. There's no doubt about it. 
there, you are an older guy, no disrespect. I'm not an ageist in any kind of way, but you're an 83-year-old owner, and damn it, you want to win. That's just the simple, plain truth about it. Deshaun Watson gives you a better chance to win. And right now, Miami is still the team to beat for Watson. There's no doubt about it in my mind. I think that this is really coming down to one of those situations where it's, okay, Miami does have the best offer, but we're going to wait a little longer to see if one of these QB needy teams bites. Maybe it's Carolina. Maybe it's Denver. Who knows at this point, right? But you hold off. Miami's offer is still on the table, and I bet you that they uh, get the deal done. The Texans and the Dolphins get the deal done because I firmly believe that Miami has the best offer available right now. They're just trying to see if somebody can match it, and obviously I'm talking about the Texans there. But if you think the Dolphins will trade for Deshaun Watson – all I want you to do is hit that like button. It's that simple. Let me know. Want to see how many likes we get on today's video because I think it's pretty telling how this fan base has kind of turned a little bit in terms of strong to a side. Now it's gradually going to Deshaun Watson. A one in six start can do that for you. Let me know by simply liking the video if you think the Dolphins will trade for Deshaun Watson.